thanks for joining us at XM.com for today's daily market comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marujos. Risk appetite was riding high on Wednesday after Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen reignited hopes of more massive stimulus packages in the United States in her confirmation hearing yesterday. Yellen went out of her way to make the case for higher spending to counter the health and economic devastation caused by the pandemic, arguing that the smartest thing to do when rates are low is to act big. While it's still uncertain how much support there would be in the Senate for Yellen's big spending plans, the fact that the incoming Biden administration sees getting the virus under control and reviving the economy as its top priority is music to investors' ears. Investors were also relieved from Yellen signaling that there are no immediate plans to raise taxes. Stocks on Wall Street closed sharply up on Tuesday, with a Nasdaq composite coming just shy of its record high. The tech-heavy index could get a further boost today, after Netflix shares rallied in after-hours trading following yesterday's strong earnings report. The upbeat mood wasn't confined to U.S. markets, and expectations of massive debt-funded spending appears to be rekindling the reflation trade. However, there was no sense of a return to a runaway rally, as the virus escalation in more and more countries is keeping a lid on risk appetite. U.S. Treasury yields were also surprisingly steady in the last 24 hours, drifting slightly lower and adding weight to the sliding dollar. The U.S. dollar may be about to revert to its long-term downward path if Biden's team moves swiftly to not only press ahead with its COVID and spending plans, but to win bipartisan support. The greenback's downside reversal was a boon for gold, which is up almost 1% today to break above the $1,850 an ounce level. Risk currencies also roared higher, led by the pound and Australian dollar. The Canadian dollar's gains were slightly held back from concerns about Biden's intention to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline project, as well as caution ahead of the Bank of Canada's policy decision later today. The euro bucked the trend, however, to move marginally in the red versus the dollar on reports that the European Central Bank is targeting eurozone government bond yields in a bid to keep the spreads compressed. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for watching at XM.com.